Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87 This one's been asked for quite a lot recently and it is the best possible Italian team Now a lot of you guys have been asking for it mainly because of the nice additions of a lot of team of seasons into it But yet again it is in a 3-4-2-1 formation um, uh, Sorry, 4-3 Three, four, one, two formation, and that is because the left back and right back of Italians don't have any high rated players to get the highest rated team. We've gone with this. Now, if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out g2a.com. Their link is down below. If you try and hit over 6,000 likes, that'd be awesome. And subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So, the team, guys, like I said, it's going to feature, well, it's going to feature one hell of a lot of legends, actually. Do all the, um, no, all the, all the Italian legends don't actually make it into it. We've got Cannavaro sat on the bench. Perlo sat on the bench. And um, there's a few others. Like, Team of the Season, Perlo, um, isn't happening. So we're going to have to uh, totally miss out on that. And Team of the Season, Giovinco, probably won't even make it in because he'll be an 86 rated anyway. So in the goalkeeper position, guys, let's set the premise up to Italian. Uh, we do have the 90 rated goalkeeper, which is Buffon. Team of the Season, best goalkeeper in the game in my eyes. And uh, really enjoy using him. 90 diving, 85 handling, 85 reflexes, and 95 position. So he doesn't really really get beaten um well get beaten he doesn't really get beaten one-on-one -on -one stoppery is very very good as well in the center back position in the middle we go with the slowest of the three center backs who is also the smallest as well which is legend Baresi, a fresh one for fee 15 on the left hand side we do go with um no right hand side we go with maldini and then on the right hand side we do go with team of the season chiellini who if you've used him guys is fucking rapid catches ronaldo and he has the strength to knock everyone off as well 83 pace 95 defending and 96 physical that is perfect stats for a defender going back to maldini he is one of the best legend defenders on the game 86 pace, 95 defending and uh, 80 physical as well, 74 passing as well, he's pretty good at going forward in the CM position on the left hand side we go with uh, team season Mark Izzio from the most consistent, if you guys do remember when he was released 84 pace, 81 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling and 80 defending as well as 84 physical and 4 star skills, very very nice player to have in there next to him we have team of season Verratti from PSG as well I think he's the first person apart from the legend who's actually not in the league, everyone else in the league or a legend which is uh, you don't really see many Italian exports do you and I know El Sharari has now actually moved um, to Monaco so he's got a Monaco version of his card as well um, but obviously he's in form AC Milan version and gets in the team more 88 pace 81 shooting 87 dribbling and 4 star skill moves on the right hand side we do have another in form which is Candreva um, 86 pace 83 shooting 83 passing 87 dribbling and 76 physical he's pretty good for the winger I actually really enjoy using this guy all the time and um Obviously, guys, he is uh, the highest rated. So even though the wingers aren't that high rated, you can't really rock a, uh, a three at the back team without wingers. I don't know what... I, I wish it was a formation where it was like three... Four midfielders in the middle and uh, the rest strikers, just no wingers. But there isn't. I don't think we'll ever see that. In the um, in the cam position, we do have the 87 rated Zola converted down from a centre forward. He is like Dennis Burkamp. I love Dennis Burkamp in the cam position, and Zola is a very cheap alternative. 85 pace, 82 shooting, 84 passing, 89 dribbling, and he has a decent long shot and plays as that third striker. And you need that third striker when linking up with these legends. On the left hand side, we have Legend Vieri, who was my favourite player last. Year. absolutely loved using this guy and uh, for some reason the mechanics of the game have changed it doesn't suit him mainly it was that jumping chest and being able to run onto a ball the jumping chest just isn't that good anymore in the right hand side we do have uh, legend in zaghi as well to finish off and then three obviously get hyperlinks together as well if you're looking to build hybrids in the future 85 pace 82 shooting 76 dribbling and that's pretty it but he's a pretty nippy striker and i really enjoy using these legends maybe i don't really like using vieri i don't know what it is i, I love to hate this guy he, he used to be ridiculous but he isn't now so guys if you have enjoyed this best possible Italian team, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I'll be back in a sec to show you the highlights we did manage to get with this team. So, on to the highlights with the team. Candreva actually disappointed me a little bit in this team, mainly because he felt slow and sluggish, and the EA AIDS was on our side as well. It felt quite good at going forward, even though a lot of the chances were lucky, very, very scrappy. But you do have some clinical finishers in and around the area, being Vieri, Zola, and also Inzaghi. With Marquisio, he likes to go forward. Same with so you are left quite open when it comes to defending as you will see by a few of the score lines uh, which you will see from these games but there are two very decent midfielders I prefer having a proper out and out CDM but we actually didn't manage to get one and uh, with Kondreva and El Sharari both of them are pretty good but um, Kondreva let me down in this and it was really El Sharari who was uh, the standout player for linking up with the strikers with the defence even though it is super fast 83 pace, 76 pace and 86 pace with the three defenders 
defenders respectively. Um, you would expect them to be non, well, not get abused, but we did. We were coming up against the likes of Ronaldo. Um, who else were coming up against? Uh, Tevez, Team of the Season Tevez, yeah, Team of the Season Guerrero. And it was very hard to stop these players. But when we did, they were very strong, able to nudge the ball players away. And even with Buffon in there, even though he's one of the best keepers in the game, will concede goals if he's left to be tramped. And that's exactly what happened against me. But if you're going to take any people away from this team, guys, definitely recommend picking up a Team of the Season Verratti. You can get him for going just over 30,000 coins on Xbox. And uh, a Marquisio as well. Marquisio is a very, very good player. And you can pick him up. Actually, he's extinct. What the fuck? That's a, that's a rare one. I didn't really think he was extinct. El Sharari as well, but um, you can pick him up for around 18k, which is uh, his minimum price value. Very, very good player. But if you're looking for legends and you are on Xbox, guys, really recommend picking up Azola in the cam position if you can't afford a Dennis Burkamp and uh, also um, Maldini as well. Them two legends are ridiculous. The only downfall of the team was obviously playing the small centre-back in the middle. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like rating, subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and feel free to leave comments down below of some more best possibles we can do before the end of FIFA 16 because it's only around the corner now. You can tell that with the interest in people's packs at the moment. And uh, I honestly do not think that Team of the Season Giovinco would actually make it into this team, which is why I have gone and done it for you now. But who that said, when Team of the Season MLS is released, guys, I will be doing some best possibles with them players so you guys can see what they are like and whether they're worth the uh, using up the rest of your money before the end of the FIFA. So, guys, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you again next time.